Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a book page effect. I've already made this video before, but then I had a comment that says sound and a question sign. So I decided to check the video and there's no sound on it. When I went back and played the original video, there was no sound on that one either. I never test the video after I recorded it because it always works. I just always just make them upload them to YouTube and that's it you know it always works I never played them before and so I have to remake this tutorial so anyway here it goes uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we are going to create today which is this a book page effect make it looks like you have a book leaf on your website which this is rendering the browser right now uh, on your website and you can add your text from Dreamweaver into each line all the way down so it looks like you know you write on a book page you can even use handwrite style fonts to make it even looks like a handwriting so Anyway, guys, here goes. Many people try to use this, uh, do this tutorial, and they butcher this thing. You know, they're trying to make an entire page. You know, you don't need to do that. You just need a simple little file, and it will render out looking like this. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. And here goes. Let's close this. I already have in Dreamweaver a tag set up, a div tag set up, which you guys might want to go in and make that to follow. Pause this video and go in and make this uh, div tag inside any page. Just create a new page and put a div tag in there and makes it 900 pixels wide by 1000 pixels high so let's minimize Dreamweaver and get over to fireworks I'm using fireworks CS4 I'm pretty sure whichever version of fireworks you're using it will work or you can even use Photoshop so make a new document uh, most people are not used to this shortcut so let's go up to file new document and it's 900 by 30 that's what I want mine background color set it at white or whatever color you want your page to be your book page to be you can choose pink blue green whatever you want but mine is white so I'm just gonna leave it at white click OK okay this is very fast very simple and so easy to create so let's grab our rectangle tool so I'm gonna click on hold because I have my ellipse tool select here draw a line all the way across it can be bigger than your stage it doesn't matter because when you render this out you're only gonna see your stage anyway what's on you're just only gonna see the size of your stage so it doesn't really matter how long you draw those uh, go down here to the properties panel and make this height one pixel we're gonna change the color to a blue like you would see on a book page now click on this little thing and drop it down to the bottom almost touching the bottom but not exactly touching if you make it exactly touching it's gonna look weird when you render it out so almost touching the bottom but not exactly touching grab the rectangle tool again we're gonna draw the borders Make the width of your border two pixels. Come on. Two pixels. And we're going to change the color actually to red. Sorry, guys, it's moving a little bit slow because my mouse is acting up. I'm using a wireless mouse and I think the battery is going out. So, okay, after we do this, we're going to click on this little red thing copy paste and then click on it again hold shift and drag it over here I'm gonna try and go equal but I'm not really worried about going equal so okay there we go now let's click right here on a rectangle hold it down go grab our ellipse tool and let's draw a circle that's gonna replicate um, the holes in the book page so let's try to get it center between the top of the page and the white lines and then between the red line and the edge over there and like, again not gonna try and be too perfect I'm gonna change that color whatever the background of your uh, website is you want to make this uh, little ellipse that little circle the same color so I know the color of my background the color code for my background I already copied it so I'm just gonna paste it in here uh, come on Ah, oh, come on, it's not doing it. So, this is pissing me off. Though. Anyway, I'm just gonna minimize this a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Anyway, I'm not gonna try and change anything. Just, just let's just leave it at that, or just change it to black. You know, who cares? Let's just change it to black. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna worry about it. So, anyway, now that we have that set up, we are done completely done with our book page that's it that's all we need to create many of you might be like what 
yep but that's what we need to create so file save save it to your uh, folder where you're gonna have your website which I'm gonna save mine I already have one in there so it's gonna tell me I I do I'm gonna save this as page it's gonna say oh yeah you have one yep replace it now I'm gonna minimize this and step over into Dreamweaver here so now this is a dream river and this is where I create uh, my little div tag and I make it 900 pixels wide by 1000 pixels high over here in my CSS panel so all I gotta do is double click on my my CSS attributes over here go in the background and browse for the image that we just uh, created which it's named paged so right here mine says page OK and click OK again look what happens voila because what this is doing is it's repeating downwards it doesn't repeat across uh, well it does repeat across but you can't see that because we already tell this div tag you need to be 900 pixels wide and then the thing itself is 900 pixels wide so whatever it does after that you never see that but it does repeat down until it hits the end of your div tag so now that this is done, we're going to save it. You guys have already seen the finished product in the beginning, but I'll show you again. I'm just going to go save all. Hit F12 to preview in a browser. And there we go. You have a book page. And in Dreamweaver, you can add div tags inside here and write text on the line, which I'm just going to do a table because it's going to be easier and faster for me to do a table. So I'm just going to do a table just to show you. I'm going to set my border to zero so let's drag to there and drag down to the line you can use div tags and set you know height and width and all that to replicate this let's drag this border back to the line now we're just going to type Okay, so you want this sitting on the line. I'm just going to drag this down. You don't have to use, uh, you know, tables, guys. I'm just using tables because it's faster. Let's hit F12 again. It's going to ask me to save it. Yes. Preview out in the browser. And there we go. You see, you have text on your page, and you can add as many as you want. You can even change these text to handwriting style. See, it looks like handwriting. Uh, so thanks for watching hope this helps hope this gives you guys some new design ideas uh, especially if you're creating your personal pages or portfolio or whatever it is so don't forget to rate subscribe comment let me know if I missed something in here that you wanted to see and I'll definitely make a talk to you all see you guys later